Hey YouTube, Dawson Ryder here and welcome to my review for Transformers, BotBots, Techie Team, and Toilet Troop. These are basically little fun, like household, everyday item type thingies that transform into little robots. You know, that little small kind of niche. Niece? Like, you know, Transformers class. I usually don't review Transformers because they're pretty well covered and I'm also a pretty casual collector so it wouldn't be any kind of a consistent review thing, but I'm really into things like this, so I decided, you know, why not review them? Um, if these do well and people seem to like them, I'll, you know, cover the ones I collect. These are a type of thing that I'll probably try to collect most of them, because they just kind of hit that little collectible, adorable Pokemon Skylandery button. But these are the first two uh, waves I've been able, or waves, sets I've been able to get a hold of. They're on Amazon right now, these two, but they should be appearing in stores right now. Uh, this is the Toilet Troop set, like kind of based off bathroom stuff, although not all of it and the set is based off of that, which kind of bothers me. And this is like the techie troop as it's labeled, but also isn't all just that stuff. Like again, that kind of bothers me. Just make it match, you'll thank me later. But let's go over the toilet troop first, because that was the first one I opened. Um, and they both come with little sheets with like the names on them, which I have on the side here, so I try to remember their names. Um, and a little checklist, which I'll show off here. But this one obviously is based off of toilet paper. This is is uh, King Toots, get it? Because like, you know, Toots, because bathroom. But you know, it's kind of also mummy theme named. But yeah, this is actually pretty well put together as like a toilet paper thing. And you can see the little, that sounds, that's like a weird thing to say. But I mean like, you know, it doesn't have as much little kibbly bits coming off of it. But I like that it has little like Transformers uh, Autobot logos on there. Like it just... It makes me feel like it's like the Transformers branded Charmin. Um, but they're all pretty easy to transform. I do have a little bit nitpicks with certain things about it, which I'll get to, like the camera not being able to focus on this because it's like blending in with the white background. But basically, you just fold these out here and you get like his, his little, um, his eyes revealed. Eyes revealed! And then these come out here to become basically kind of like his legs. They're just gonna get this here. My main problem, I'm actually encountering it on this one right away, even though I didn't when I was doing it, but actually that was just my fault there. Anyway, um, but like, a lot of the little mechanisms are kind of stiff like to get out or like you need fingernails every now and then I'll have slightly long fingernails and my friends will be like why you don't cut your fingernails they'll say it like that just like okay then why you don't cut fingernails and I'm like yeah because I'm gonna need them as soon as I cut them for something like this but yeah some of the mechanisms are just a little hard to deal with which just bothers me not like they're difficult to do like you can't figure out how to transform but they're just not very fun like that like my fingers are being pinched and it's like cold and dry and I'm like having to you have to basically wiggle them out to get them like that but yeah there you have that um, kind of like a little um, toilet paper mummy robo. I do kind of like his design. It also kind of looks like a toilet thing. It reminds me of like a talking toilet bit. But that's him. Um, for more bathroom theme, you have Sud's beard, which this is like based off of a, uh, you know, soap container. This one on the back, you can see more like, oh, that's what it's like. And this kind of, you know, blends in more like, oh yeah, this is a soap container, nothing else. Although this could just be like, hey, it's a kid's pirate themed bathroom. But this one's pretty easy to transform. Um, the legs are right under here. You just pull them out like this. A lot of them are like that. And this it has like a little wooden peg leg texture, which is kind of neat. You know what? Everyone's going out besides the one it's trying to focus on. Uh, the camera's like the, a living embodiment of that distracted meme. Like it always will just look at something else it's not supposed to be looking at. But basically you pull the head up too. That's like two common features I found in these so far. It's like pulling the head out there and and then the legs fold out, and then his little arm also pops out. Okay, I kind of had to cut away just to finagle it out, because it's one of those where you just kind of have to twist and, and, you know, shimmy it out. This kind of shimmies out too to make it seem more like an arm, and you can see, which I think is super clever, like the little, the spout becomes his, like, hook arm. So yeah, he's pretty adorable. I just hate, like, how difficult some of the mechanisms are, mainly because, I mean, the first thing I liked about these guys is they're adorable, and I like the little concept of, like, everyday things becoming robots. I think it's adorable and cool, but I also like, you know, the those little ones sometimes you can just put on your desk and transform for fun while you're watching TV or something. But then it ruins that when I'm sitting there like ah, 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 and like my fingers are cracking because it's cold. I'm just complaining about the weather even though I like the cold weather. Okay, this one isn't so much bathroom themed but it was before I was kind of thinking about the fact that they don't all have bathroom themes, but I was like, oh, nachos, I get it, because like you have to go to the bathroom after you eat the nachos. But yeah, this is nachos, pretty well hidden all together, and uh, I like the transformation on this one. It's like really simple, but there's like little fun bits to it, like, you know, you fold the legs out there, fold the little face bit down there. He looks like a crazed cheese addict, which totally makes sense. And then these bits here, you like fold out, 
and down. Be careful with these when you're like putting them away or um, you know out because if you do it the wrong way these joints get a little bit tight and like I thought I was gonna break them for a second but I really quite like him. I think he's pretty adorable and like again he I guess that's a monocle like it looked more like that one eyes bulging out because he loves cheese but I guess that's a monocle. Okay, we'll put all the robot dudes up front after we're all done. This is the other main one that comes in the set. This is, oh yeah, the cheese guy's name was, let me look it up because I forgot it. It is Shredder Jack, not very clever. It makes it sound like more like a paper shredder. This is Waddle Pop, it's supposed to be like a an ice cream cone or a popsicle, which I think it's pretty clever. You can see the penguin feet here. Spoiler alert, it's a penguin. Uh, become like the, you know, the handle. Um, but I wish it was a little bit more put together, but you know, it's kind of like one of those things where this is a small class. It's not expected to be like super leader class, you know, schmancy or anything like that or something where it's really sophisticated. But um, I like the way it's done. Like you pull these out to become the feet and it becomes that. I just wish there was a little something more to it. And then you pull this back to reveal his adorable little penguin face. I'm actually going to move these out of the way a little bit so that I can get to his little arms, uh, which are one of the easier ones to get out, which I like. But he's pretty adorable. And like, you know, you're supposed to pull his, his little hood all the way back um, to, you know, fully show the penguin, but I also kind of like putting it like this because it makes it seem like he's wearing a little hat or a penguin hoodie, but he's pretty cool. Uh, this one here, the, the Stink Eye Stapleton, the stapler-based one, which is much more of an office supply thing, um, kind of mess it up there, um, was in, like, the front of the box. There's, like, a little red one, which is, looks like it's supposed to be a mystery one. I, I should have done a little research on that, but I'm not sure if that's supposed to be a mystery because, like, his little instructions are on the paper, so is it every instruction paper is different? I don't know why he's a mystery, but um, I like, you know, the little, the staple base thing. He also has a pretty uh, easy, fun little transformation. You just fold his legs out here, and then um, his arms as well fold out. These are ones you're going to want to be careful with because, like, the joints can be kind of tight. And if you don't do it the right way, I always feel like I'm going to snap them. Um, but he just looks very upset about being a stapler. Like, he's just mad that someone took a stapler. It's just, like, a huge office space reference. But I, I really do dig him. I just wish they were all themed on the same thing instead of being a mix. I don't know. That maybe just bothers me, maybe only. But, yeah, so that's the robo modes for this set. Just to show you here, like, the pamphlets they come with, you can see there's, like, you know, little instructions for everyone. And you get the names. And here's, like, a little picture of, um, of the art of them it's on the front of the box too but then on the back you get this little checklist it shows you like all of them which is super neat um you can see like all the different categories and stuff so that comes with with both of them all right so now let's start on this one since this is supposed to be the tech themed one let's start with the computer first of all i gotta say not very sleek guys this could have been way sleeker looks more like a lunch box zero out of ten no but then you open it up and you have this very stressed out computer guy it looks more like, you know, an old, I must said old timey, that sounds really funny to say, but like an old school laptop rather than trying to be a sleek new one. Um, but yeah, so you already got a little personality there just doing this. Um, but he, he transforms pretty easy. You just fold his little, his little arms out here and his little legs in the back. I'm actually going to do that first. His little legs right here and his little arms makes it a little bit easier. Again, you kind of have to wiggle them out. I just wish the joints were a little bit looser, just so that it's it's just that annoying amount. And then that's not all, folks. He's got two little antennas, which are kind of hard to get because I was doing it the wrong way. Um, but yeah, I really quite like him. I think he's pretty adorable. I, the nervous expression on his face almost makes me nervous, but I do like him um, quite a bit. Probably one of my more favorite ones. Okay. And then you have headphones, which this one is probably one of the most basic transformations. Like, it's far from the most clever, but I, I, I do like, like, his design. Like, this fits together pretty well as headphones. Like, these all clamp together. But then you just separate these out, pull this up, and then you just kind of finagle these around. And he's like a gorilla. Like, I really like him. Like, I wish the transformation was a little more clever, but... At the same time, he just fits so well where it's like, oh yeah, that's headphones, and now he's a cool little gorilla robo. So, I do dig that. Now this, um, I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. It's called Slappy Happy. It's got like a screen. I'm, I feel like an idiot, but like, what is this supposed to be? Is it a ruler? Because, I guess, but like the, this, I guess it is supposed to be a ruler, maybe? I don't know. Like, this looks like a screen face. This is a huge spoiler alert there, but I don't know. But... I do like this one. Like, you fold these out, they kind of look like little cape wings, but they're primarily used because um, he or she, whatever it is, um, it needs stabilization. Like, if you were to just um, do that, it kind of falls over, so it kind of is just stabilization. But I do like the design on this one. Um, it's pretty simple. Um, there's really no, like, joints that are hard to deal with or anything like that. But I feel like an idiot for not knowing, like, Slappy, could you, like, slap rulers? Maybe I'm just, like, overcomplicating it. Maybe I'm not thinking it's a ruler because it looks kind of like a chocolate bar. Okay, now we have the two, uh, like, non- 
office related things. I mean, I guess it depends on what you have in your office or, um, you know, anything like that. This is like a puck, like a hockey puck. Um, and for this one, you also pull out his head, but you can pull this bit out too. And these little hand bits to sort of free this up. This one kind of bugs me, not like the design of it, but like the way uh, that it transforms with the head. I yank his little head out. It's just super difficult to work with for me. Maybe there's a trick or something that I'm not getting, but it just bothers me that I had to like take so much time and like my fingers are cracking. Like it seems like such a first world problem, but again, part of the appeal of these for me was like, oh cool, this is on my desk. Let's mess around with it because it's a fun transformer. And then I'm like, it's like Excalibur over here, guys. Okay, this one is kind of a funny one. Um, let's zoom in a little bit. Check out that blur, guys. You don't get that blur anywhere else. This is Bonsai, who's basically like, you know, it's based off of a plant, which I guess that's what it's supposed to be. But when I first saw it, I'm like, oh, what is this? Is it like a, like a trash can? Like, I didn't get it. I'm like, oh, it's like a weird trash can that kind of looks like a Lego, but I guess it's supposed to be plant-based. So that's a thing. This is another one where you have to pull out his head. Well, I guess I'm already pulling out his legs there. Um, again, see the cornerstones of this line. Folding the legs out like this and pulling out their little heads out of stuff. That one goes a little bit easier. And then, you know, just finagle his little arms out, which is pretty easy. He's probably my least favorite design-wise. I find it kind of amusing that I thought he was a, um, a trash can, but I don't know. He just isn't that exciting to me. Like, his design looks kind of boring. The thing he's based off on is kind of boring. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for these ones, guys. Um, overall, like I said, I really do dig things like this, which is obviously why I bought them and why I decided to review them, um, because I like these like little collectible, adorable creatures or robots and stuff like that. And especially since they're based off little household things, I kind of like the idea of like putting them around my apartment in like, you know, places where these type of things would be. Although the bathroom thing might be kind of gross, so maybe I won't do that. Um, but yeah, I do like the concept of them. I think they're adorable. Um, I think a lot of them have fun little transformations. I do have that complaint though, which I kind of highlighted throughout the review, is I, I do hate how difficult to work with some of the little mechanisms are, mainly because these are supposed to be just kind of an easier fun bit. So like I said, I like to have them on my desk or something where I'm just like, oh, this is fun. Let's just transform this and transform it back while I'm watching TV because that's what I enjoy. But then you have these little bits where it's super hard to work with. And if you don't have long enough fingernails, it's just kind of annoying. So that's my real only complain about him. But I think if you're into these type of things, I think you'll get a kick out of them. Again, let me know what you think of this review. If I, um, I'm definitely going to get more of them, but you know, if this, these do well, like I said, and, and you guys enjoy seeing these reviews, I'll definitely review them um, when I get them and try to fit them into the schedule. But I wanted to just do a fun little review of these because I was excited to get them. So even though I have a little bit problems with the transformation, I still do enjoy these little guys and their adorableness. But anyway, that's about it. Until next time, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and of course, don't forget to climb steps and ring that bell to get the notifications for all my videos. Till next time, Dawson Ryder, signing out.